Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello. 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 hello, good evening. Nice to see you here. Hope you had a nice weekend. Hope that you actually rested a bit and that you're ready for a new week, all right? Uh, so let's see, let's get ready. Uh, nice, nice that you're here, excellent. So first things first, let's just take attendance before we start so that, uh, well, we can, let me see, start with the topics that we have for today. So just give me one second while I pull up here the list. Okay. And here we go. So Monday the twenty second. Awesome. All righty then. So let's start with the first person here, Anna Beatriz Pineda. Ana Beatriz, not there. No, okay. So I continue then with Angel Balmore Aguilar. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Angel, good. So I continue now with Brenda Raquel Reyes. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, uh, Raquel. Good. Next person, Glenda Maricela Cuellar. Glenda Maricela, I guess she's not here yet. So I continue with Iris Beatriz Cornejo. I hear. Thank you very much, Iris. Uh, next person, Josue Vladimir Alvarenga. Present. Thank you very much, uh, Josue. Next person, Carla Maria Beatriz Arana. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Carla Maria. And next person, Carla Jesenia Lanza. Present. Thank you very much, and Carlita Lanza. Next, Lucy Natalie Juarez. Here, teacher. Thank you very much, Natalie. Excellent. So I continue with. Marilyn Del Carmen Solis. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Marilyn. A next person, I have Mauricio Emilio Alvarenga. Mauricio Emilio. Present teacher. All right. Present thank you. teacher. Por thank acá you. estoy, solo que uh -huh. por ahí guardaba una cosa. <laughs> okay, Emilia, no problem. That's okay. Thank you. All right. Next person, then, Obed Alexander Alas. Here, teacher. Okay, thank you very much, Obed. And next, Orfa Lisette Barrera. Orfa Here, teacher. Okay, nice. Thank you very much. <laughs> Orfa, nice. Next, I have Rosa Vilma Landa Verde. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Vilma. And next person, Sonia Evelyn Iraeta. Sonia Evelyn, not here yet. So I continue with Jessica Melissa Oya. Present teacher. Thank you very much. E, Meli. And let me see. Then I have Julissa Raquel. Present. Thank, you. Thank you very much for that. And I guess we have here now Glenda Maricela Cuellar. I guess now you're here. Present teacher. All right. Excellent. Thank you. All righty then. So there you go. E, Let's get started then with the, well, the first activity we're going to have today. So for this 
first activity, we're going to work in two groups. So let me see. So it's going to be, okay. So we have uh, group number one, Anita, Iris, Josue, eh, Carlita Lanza, Natalie, Marilyn, Oved, and Orfa. So you are group number one. Group number two, I have Angel, Brenda, Emilio, Glenda, eh, um, let's see, Carla Maria, Vilma, and let me see, Meli and Julie. Okay, so you are group number two. So what you're going to do with this, let's see. Tum, tum, tum. Wait, wait. This is the one. Okay, so I'm sharing my screen so that we can check this together. So before we start, we're going to have a little review on some verbs with the present continuous. So very simple. We need to match the picture with the activity. For example, you're going to see, let's say, B5. So it's eating. So what do I need? The picture with a person who is actually eating. Oh, there you go. So perfect. <laughs> I'm on fire this week. <laughs> so there you go. This is what you're going to do. Matching the picture of the person and the action that these people are performing. Okay. Let's see that. So let's start away. Oh, I'm going to shuffle this. I'm not giving that away. So here we go. Okay, let's see. Let's start with group number one. So I'm going to start with Anita. Anita. Okay, Anita, you choose uh, two cards. A two. Uh -huh. um, a two, uh -huh. C one. C one. Volvió a salir el que está comiendo. Esto es una señal. C one. Let's see. Ay, no. it's lighting. <laughs> so no, no match. Okay, Anita. Let's see. Then group number two, Angel. Okay, uh, B1. B1 for angel is singing. Singing. C2. C2. Let's see C2. Oh, no, no, not the action that we were looking for. Okay, nice. Let's see. It is group one. B3. Uh, B3, this one? Sí. Uh, sí. Let's see. Ah, oh, there you go. It's fighting. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Creo, no recuerdo si era B1. Ah, uh, B1. Si sí, tú, sí, creo que era. <laughs> C2, shall we try? Sí. Intentamos C2. Sí. <laughs> Let's see. Yes, yeah. very good. <laughs> so he's fine. Well, they are fighting in this case. Good. So let's yeah. see. Exactly. Peleando. So it is. You continue. Choose another two cards. Uh, a, a six. A six. Aha, mm -hmm. uh -huh. what about this one? Six. Nada. Aha. Uh -huh. mm, A1. A1. Let's see A1. Ay, ay, ay. No, and right. we gave one away. Okay. So group number one, one point. Group number two, this is your opportunity. Raquel. A2. A2. A4. A4. 
and we have uh something <laughs> so no match okay so let's see group number one this is your chance one more time Josue Sway, sway. You. Hello, you you busy right now? You working? B6. All right, let's see. B6. Aha. We saw that one before. C4. C4. Let's see. No, no match. So we go back to group number two in Glenda. Sí, uh -huh. Which one, Glenda? Mm, B5. B5? Mm -hmm. um. Ahora le tengo que decir otro. Please, uh, yes. <laughs> ¿Dónde está ese? A3. A3. Let's see if it was A3. We saw it before. Oh, no, no A3. All right. So let okay. me see. We go back to group number one. Carlita Lanza. Carlita Lanza. No, B5. B5? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh -huh. um, B4. And B4. Let's see. Oh, no, 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 no much. There's one we saw before too. So we continue with Carla Maria. B1. B1. Let's see B1. Huh. C3. C3. Let's check. <gasps> Melly says A1. What do you think? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you want A1. Yeah, you agree? Okay, yes. let's see. Day one. Yes, there you go, singing. <laughs> okay, nice, saved. Let's see. So, group one, one point, group two, one point. Carla Maria, you choose another one. Uh, C1. C1. Aha, sliding. E6. B6, let's see, B6. Nice, very good. Sliding, that's sliding, right? It deslizarse, sliding. Excellent. So two points for group two. You continue, you're on fire. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> <laughs> um, B5. B5, let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. B2. B2. Let's see B2. Oh, he's walking. So no, no match. But good. Two points for group two now. So group number one, this is your chance. Natalie. Hello. Hello there. C2. C2. Oh, C2. It's already taken. Ah, yes. <laughs> Sorry. Um, A6. A6. Uh huh. My little girl. Yeah, my little girl wanted to, to set up the tree, the Christmas tree on Saturday. So I had to do it on Saturday, actually. <laughs> yes, me too. Yeah. Um, B5. 
B5. Let's see. Natalie says B5. Oh, no match. Okay, no. Let's continue then with group number two. Vilma. Okay. Let's see, Vilma. A4. A4. Uh -huh. B. B. B2. B2. Let's see B2. Ay, okay. no. So no match. Está duro esto. <laughs> All right, let's see. Next, group number one, Marilyn. This is your chance. Um, A5. A5. Uh -huh. <laughs> a ver, a ver. C4. C4. Let me see. Oh my God, there you go. Nice. Excellent. So you got it. Very good. So you continue, Marilyn. A6. A6. Uh -huh. C3. C3. Here we go. Yes, very good. So group number one, three points. Group number two, two points. So you continue, Marilyn. A2. A2. A3. A3. A3, okay, okay. <laughs> A3, A3. Aha. B2. B2, she says. Yes, very good. Four points now. Excellent. You continue. Um, A4. A4. Aha. B5. B5, she says. Nice, very good, excellent. Nice, you continue then. A2. A2. B4. B4, let's see. So molest. Oh my God. Wow, there you go. So, Marilyn, you made them all. <laughs> so, good winners. Kudos number one. So, excellent. Kudos for you. Nice. Okay, so there you have, well, just some examples on some uh, common and not so common activities here. So, all these verbs you are seeing here, they are or they can actually be used with the ing form. So, very good. Okay, then. Now, teacher, uh -huh, tell me. I'm sorry? Que no sé si es mi internet o el suyo, pero se queda frisado. Y no sé, yo lo veo bien y lo escucho bien esta vez. No sé si pues, soy yo. Pues soy, soy yo. Ah, <laughs> caray, soy yo. <laughs> okay, so no worries, no worries. Pero si, si me ven ahí que se me trabó, me avisan, okay? Si, si todos me ven así, me avisan. Nice. Okay, then. So, today we're going to be talking, a well, we're going to continue uh, speaking a little bit more about the present continuous. And the present continuous is very, uh, there are a lot of things we can do with this. One of the uses we give to the present continuous is actually um, to talk about temporary situations. We have the idea that the present continuous is used for or to describe activities that are happening at the moment to talk about the future, but we can also use it to talk about temporary situations. Hmm, but like what? type of temporary situations. Let's take a look at this. I'm going to share with you 
uh, here, just give me a second. I'm gonna share with you a video about this use of the present continuous. So here we go. Now, we're going to listen to the explanation first, and then we're going to clarify some doubts maybe about how to use it for this specific purpose. So let's pay attention to it, and then um, we'll clarify certain things about this. So here we go. Listen. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Ian's English. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use the present continuous for long temporary situations. Do you know all the ways to use the present continuous? Write a sentence using a continuous verb form in the comments section below. Yeah? You can do this now or at the end of the video. Let's see who's got the most interesting example. Yeah? Could it be you? I look forward to seeing your answers. Here are two questions for you. And this time the questions are when and for how long. Sally is sitting in the library. When? Now, at this moment. How long for? I'm not sure. Maybe an hour or two? but I'm not certain. What I do know is it is temporary because she doesn't live in the library and it is now because I can see her in the library. But what does temporary mean? How long is temporary? Minutes, hours, days, even weeks, or could it be more? And how long is now? Answers coming up. Are you ready to understand and improve your English grammar? If this is your first time on my channel, subscribe down here. And you will want to watch the video to the very end, yeah, to the very end, because I'm going to give you a very important tip to improve your English and you don't want to miss it. So listen up while I help you understand how the present continuous can talk about longer temporary future actions or situations. Can we all agree that we use the present continuous for situations that take place in a temporary time that includes now? I'm going to put up some examples of present continuous sentences and for each one we have to answer these three questions. When is the situation temporary and how long is the period in question? We're having lunch with my mother. It's really good. A. When? At the moment. B. Is it temporary? Yes. I don't live with my mother. C. How long is the period? Two hours, maybe. So. In this first case, it's very clear and obvious why we use the present continuous. Something that's happening now at this moment. So, what about these? Mark's training in Berlin this month. This is a correct use of the present continuous. When? At the moment. Is it temporary? Yes. How long is the period? A month. Uh, so, Mark's training in Berlin this month. At the moment, it's temporary and lasts a month. So, one month is considered to be temporary. It includes now. He normally trains in California. 
So obviously Berlin is not permanent. Can longer period be considered as temporary? There was a serious fire in Sarah's house. She's living in rented accommodation while her house is being repaired. When? At the moment. And it's temporary. How long for? Some months. It was a serious fire. So this means that this month and some months are considered to be temporary with the present continuous. If it is not considered to be permanent, normal, usual, it is possible to use the present continuous. Here are some more examples. Frida studies at Oxford University, but this year she's researching her thesis at Harvard in the United States. As she's still an Oxford student, her academic year at Harvard is considered to be temporary. Another example. They're currently travelling around Southeast Asia. When their money finishes, they will go home. One more example. Carmen is temporarily doing her father's accounts while his accountant is in hospital. This is another sentence where the present continuous is used for a period that is now and will continue for an uncertain period in the future. We can use these time phrases for a time that refers to the future, but includes now. This week, this month, this year, currently, for the time being, temporarily, basically any time period that is now, that is temporary or non-permanent, and will probably finish soon. Is that clear? Let's recap the basics. In a nutshell, we use the present continuous for temporary, non-permanent actions or situations that can last hours, days, weeks, or even a few years. So, click here on the screen or on the link in the description area below to go to my website. Okay, so tell you <laughs> now this thing or this topic might sound a little bit confusing probably at the beginning, but don't worry. I, um, it's not that difficult. So let me show you actually some examples here about the present continuous for these temporary situations. Now, um, let's say, summarizing what he said, or what he was mentioning in the video, we use the present continuous for different uh, situations. The main situation here for the present continuous, as we, as we have been saying before, is for action, it's, it's for actions happening now. Like that's the main thing here. Mm -hmm. But then we have this thing about temporary situations. What can be a temporary situation? Something that is not going to last too much, that is not going to last a longer than a limited period of time. Not your regular thing to do. For example, I have this sentence here. I'm staying with a friend at the moment. I'm staying with a friend at the moment. Mm, is that what I'm doing right now? Like right, 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 right now. Maybe not. Maybe right now I'm talking to this person. But I'm describing a situation that I'm living now that I hope is not going to be forever. Something that is going to be temporary. So... This is why this is different with the simple present. If the situation was not temporary, um, then that means that it would be a routine or part of my life. So um, 
if that was the case, I cannot use the present continuous, but the simple present. But here I'm speaking about temporary situations. So I need to stick to the present continuous. So if you check these examples here, now I'm doing the washing up. She's working very hard nowadays. If we can see that in these sentences, um, the actions are being performed at that specific moment. Mm -hmm. Though, if you ask me, the second one kind of uh, sounds like a temporary situation. Siendo si bien piquis, si veo aquí la, la, el segundo ejemplo, no me suena algo que esté pasando en el momento. Parece más una situación temporal también. ¿Por qué? Porque dice ahí, she's working very hard nowadays. Nowadays, ¿verdad? O sea, que como que mmm, no solía trabajar tan tanto, ¿no? O sea, no solía esforzarse tanto. Me suena que no es parte de una rutina, así que puede que sea una situación temporal, como lo de vivir con el amigo o con la amiga, en este caso, que eh, al parecer no es lo que la persona quiere a largo plazo, ¿no? So there you go. Now, some more examples. Here, they are dancing right now. Example of a situation happening at the moment. Temporary situations. They normally play tennis, but this week they are skating. Ah, so this is also a temporary situation. So I have here, a, a person who usually practices this sport, tennis, but today or this week, they are practicing a different sport, skating, patinaje. So this most likely is a temporary situation. Maybe next week, they're going back to tennis, most likely, All right? Maybe they're just trying a new thing. So this is a nice example on that. There you go. Any questions so far? Uh -huh. No, no questions. Easy, piece of cake. Teacher. Uh -huh. Julie, yes. I not understand. You're not understanding this one. Okay, don't worry. But let's put it here. Let's write it so that we can see it better. So what we have been studying so far is the present continuous. We have seen this or we have studied this for actions happening at the moment, right? This is what, what the thing that we started with to describe things that are happening right now. Like when I say, I am a teaching a class. I am teaching a class. And I can add right now, I am teaching a class right now. So that action is happening at the moment. That is one use of this of the present continuous. The other use that we studied was to talk about the near future slash schedule events. So we also studied this with the present continuous to talk about near future or schedule events. Like when I say, for example, um, um, no, let's see. She is leaving San Salvador tomorrow. She's leaving San Salvador tomorrow. If I say this, the action is not happening at the moment. The action is going to happen or will happen tomorrow. So, Am I changing or am I using a different structure? Mm -mm. It's the same, present continuous. 
but for near future. And then we have today, we are studying another use for the present continuous, which is for temporary situations. What are temporary situations? Things that are not part of my daily routine. I can say, for example, I normally uh, watch TV at 10 30 p.m. But today, um, let's say, um, starting for a test. Now, here we have an example of what we are studying today, uh, Julie. The first part of the sentence is my daily routine. So I use the simple present. Yeah, I normally watch TV at 10 30 p.m. Now, today I'm not going to do that. Why? Because I have a test. So how can I describe this? I use the present continuous, in this case, to describe a temporary situation, because this is going beyond what I do normally on a daily basis. So I use present continuous too. But today, I'm studying for a test, which kind of sounds a little bit like future, but at the same time is describing a temporary situation. So, la primera parte de la oración es presente simple. Es lo que yo hago normalmente, ¿verdad? Y um, es mi rutina diaria, ver televisión a las diez y media. Pero hoy no. Hoy estoy algo abatido porque mañana tengo examen. Entonces, creo que mejor voy a estudiar. Pero eso de estudiar, no es un hábito, qué bonito fuera que yo estudiara a las diez y media en vez de ver televisión, no es mi hábito, ¿verdad? Entonces, es una excepción a mi rutina diaria. Esa excepción a no mi rutina le... diaria, ajá. No se le agrega el ING. Mm, ¿A dónde? A normally. En no. esta, ¿cómo es presente? Continuo. No, me lo está, me lo está mezclando, me lo está ahí. Estamos haciendo una ensalada. No, pero en la primera parte, normally es, digamos, mi frequency adverb. Es como un adverbio de frecuencia. Funciona como eso, uh -huh. ¿no? Entonces al watch no tiene razón. A watch no le voy a agregar el ing. ¿Por qué? Porque es simple present. Porque simple present, uh -huh. esto me lo dice, ¿verdad? es parte sí, de mi sí, rutina. Sí. Ajá. Así es. Al otro, sí. Al otro, a la otra parte, o sea, la otra acción que voy a hacer, esa sí tiene que llevar el ING. ¿Por qué? Porque esto no lo voy a hacer todo el tiempo. Y esto es algo que voy a hacer hoy. Y porque por el examen, ¿no? No es algo que yo todos los días en la noche tenga el hábito de hacer. So, eso es otro uso del presente continuo. Describir de situaciones temporales o que no son parte de nuestra rutina usualmente, ¿verdad? Son como excepciones a nuestras eh, actividades diarias. Otro ejemplo podría ser, let me see. Ya en español ya la entendí. <risa> Así se entiende clarito. <risa> <laughs> okay, but that's okay. As long as you understand, that's cool. <laughs> so nice, very good. So another example can be, she usually uh, buys, let's say, oranges. But today, uh, let's say, but she, uh, she usually buys oranges, but she's buying let's say what 
strawberries, strawberries today. She usually buys oranges, but she's buying strawberries today. One more time, I'm making a pause here, or I'm, let's say, contrasting the ideas with the present continues to talk about something that maybe she's just going to do today, probably. Y podemos ocupar algo, o sea, otra expresión que no sea today, teacher. Sí, se podría. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, um, she, uh, let's say, Peter, no, rents a car every month to visit, let's say, his relatives. But he's planning to buy a car next month. So here we have, Peter rents a car every month to visit his relatives. Peter alquila un carro todos los meses para visitar a sus familiares. Pero, but he's planning to buy a car next month. Pero él está planeando comprar un auto el próximo mes. One more time. Here we have an activity that breaks the routine. So I'm saying every month I, let's say, rent a car. But you know what? Next month, ya vi que no me sale. I'm not going to do that. Right? I mejor, mejor me compro uno. Mejor lo pago, ¿no? So... I'm breaking the routine or I'm breaking the habit. So I'm using them, present continuous, to express that this is something different to the usual situation or to the regular situation that we, that we face. So there you go. Better now? Mejor? Hoy sí, es que Hoy. en inglés no lo entendí. Hoy que lo explico en español, sí, ya lo entendí de qué se trata. Ok, bueno, siempre y cuando entienda, súper. Es perfecto, yo. Nice. Gracias, teacher. Ok, anytime. Ok, now, if you check your books, ahora que vimos estos ejemplos, que ya tenemos más o menos la idea, let me show you. Here, ta, 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 ta. Aquí estoy. so if you check your books on page, um, wait, page 37, on page 37, we have a conversation. It, here we have two people talking about, well, certain activities, and they are using the present continuous to talk about the temporary situations. So I'm going to read it for you. And then some of you are going to practice a, the conversation. So listen to the, for the pronunciation. So here we go. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? Uh, okay. Well, I'm working on a new project. And also I'm taking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I'm also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know a colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You're right. I'm standing on my own, you know. I'm reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I'm doing listening exercises. They help a lot. There you go. Debería grabar esta conversación. No. <laughs> There you go. So, in these cases, in, you know, the, in this, let's say, conversation that we have here, we have these scenarios in which they are describing things that they are doing, but that they usually don't do, right? They are going outside their comfort zone and they are trying new things. 
So they are using the present continuous to talk about those things, those activities, because eh, they are new. They are not part of their daily routines. So here we have some examples. What are you doing these days? So this is used to talk about things that are, or this question is used to talk about things that maybe eh, are not, Probably your usual stuff, it's about projects or plans that you have uh, that you are going to perform maybe just these days or in a very limited period of time. If you check here, uh, well, Ever describes or he says something related to that. I'm working on a new project. It's a project. So it's not something that is going to last forever. And I'm also, and also I am taking an English course these days, meaning that at some point, en algún momento, como nosotros, puede que descansen, ¿verdad? Termina el curso, descansan. Eh, no es algo que se va a hacer todos los días religiosamente. Y en algún momento todo el curso va a terminar también. O sea que no es algo que es para siempre. So, es temporal, ¿no? Puede, como decía en el video eh, el señor, eh, estas actividades pueden durar incluso un par de años, ¿no? Eh, puede ser semanas, pueden ser meses, y quizá un par de años. Podríamos utilizar el present continuous para hablar así como de algo que se va a terminar tan lejos, Sí, siempre y cuando hablemos de una actividad que es temporal, o sea, que ese proyecto, lo que sea que, que se va a acabar en dos años, pues se va a acabar, ¿no? O sea, no, que no vaya a ser algo que, con lo que yo me quede para siempre. So there you go. So let's see. Let's practice this conversation. So let's start with, let me see. Angel, you're going to be ever. And let me see. Orfa, you're going to be Beth. So let's see. Action. Hi, Beth. L long time no see. How are you? Orfa, no te juegan visto, Orfa. Dos chequecitos azules ahorita. Híjole. Let's see. So, ni modo, creo que está ocupada. Let's see. Julie. Change. Wait, ajá. Huh? Julie. 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 Va, usted la escogió. Julie, let's see. <laughs> Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Hoy está bien wow. el compañero. Hoy sí, hoy bien. Viene con todos. <ríe> ok. Nice. Empecemos con el okay. So let's see. All right, let's start over. Okay. Empiece otra vez. Ok. Hi, Beth. Long time, Lucy. How, how are you? How are you? Hello. How are you? How are you? Hello, Weber. Hello, Ever. What are you doing this day? I'm okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an, taking an English course with this day. These days. These days. How about you? That song, Grit, what Great. a coincidence, Grit, what a coincidence. I am also taking in English course. An English, English course? Is, English is essential. Essential? Uh, at the workplace, they state. These days. I don't know. I call out a colleague. Colleague. 
who complete who completed completed the course is take taking taking a training in England this day these days day. to our right I am starting on my own to know I am reading novels to have better results. Better results. Great. ¿Cómo Great. Se lee? Great. 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 Uh -huh. Great. Great. Well, I am doing list, listening. Great. Listening exercises. Exercises. Exercise. Exercise. They, exercises. They help a lot. There you go. All right. That was good. That was good. So <laughs> nice. <laughs> no, pero ya va, va Iván, ahí vamos, ahí la llevamos. So that's the important thing. <laughs> claro, claro que sí. De eso se trata. So don't worry. Now, en esta conversación, Y tenemos esta expresión, long time no see. Long time no see. Sounds like if it is incomplete, but it is not. Suena como que algo le falta, long time no see. No decimos ni you, ni nadie. Eh, pero significa, o sea, está bien escrito, esta expresión significa tiempo sin verte, ¿no? o tiempo sin vernos. Hey, long time no see. Eh, Meli, ¿verdad? Hey, Meli, long time no see. How are you? Tiempo sin verte, ¿cómo estás? So, we use this expression with people that we haven't seen in a long time, probably. Then we have, eh, por ahí, this word is always eh, tricky, right? We have this, this word this one, this one, and this one. So, the pronunciation of this, 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 entre una E y una I, this, this, right? Now, la segunda, esta, que es, para, es la forma plural, es these, these. These, con I, these, estos, right? Este, estos. So, con estas creo que no tenemos problemas, that and those. Pero estas dos sí tendemos a, a confundirlas. De repente se nos va, como vemos aquí la I, y nos traiciona, ¿no? La, la, ahí la, la pronunciación, solemos a veces decir la these. Is this, this. Esta de acá, esta sí es these, these. Nice. Otras palabras por ahí. Um, taking, 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 taking. Other words. Coincidence, coincidence. What a coincidence. Cuando decimos, what a coincidence, qué coincidencia, o qué casualidad, what a coincidence. We have also the word great, great, así literal, great. Let's see what else, essential, 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 la T, Mm, más que todo cuando va con la I usualmente es sh, right? suena sh. essential essential then we have the word colleague 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 means co colleague 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 colega maru. Compañero de trabajo, colín. And 
I think that's pretty much it, right? There you go. Nice, very good. Here, just some words that maybe are, mm, well, the, we might have doubts about pronunciation. So there you go. So thank you very much. Let's see, next pair here. I wanna listen to Evelyn, Ever, and Beth. Let me see, Vilma. Okay. Hi. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Action. Good. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are uh, What are you? Uh, what are you doing this day? What are you doing these days? I'm okay. Well. I'm working on a new project and also I'm talking an English course these days. Taking. How about taking. you? That sounds great. What a, what a coincidence. I am also, also taking um English course no. English is essential at the workplace days no. this day this day I know uh colleague 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 uh -huh. a colleague who complete the course is taking uh, training in England these days. You are right. I am studying on my own. Um, own? Own. You know, I am ready novels to have better results. Great. Well, I'm doing missing. Exercise, they help a lot. All right, listening exercises, so plural, right? Exercises. So there you go, nice. There we have also this expression, e, on my own, I'm studying on my own. So estudiando por mi cuenta, yeah, I'm studying on my own. So that's also an expression that you might, you might want to write down because it, might comes in handy at some point. So nice, thank you, Vilma and Evelyn. Let's see one more, Ever, eh, Ovel, and Beth, Natalie. Great. Hi, Beth, long time to see, how are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project and also I'm taking an English course this day. How okay. about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am, I am also taking an English course. English is essential, is essential at the workplace these days. I know. A college, a colleague who, who colleague. complete, mm -hmm. a colleague who complete the completed. course is taking a completed the course is taking a training in England this day. You're right. I'm studying on my own. You know, I'm reading more novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing the listening exercise. The help. Okay. A lot. A lot. A lot. Sorry. L a listening lot. exercises. Uh, exercises. Exercises. Uh, exercises. Good. Nice. Very good. That was really impressive, actually. So nice. You too. All right. So let's see. Next. Ever. Raquel. Beth. Carla Maria. Uh, yo soy Ever, vea. Yes. Okay. 
Hi, Beth. Long time no see. Who are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also I am taking an English course these days. How about you? Also. Mm -hmm. Also. That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know. A colleague who did complete the course is taking a training in England these days. You're right. I am studying on my own, you know? I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercises. They help a lot. They help a lot. I know, but I'm not sure. Don't worry. They help a lot. They help, They a, help lot. a lot. Acá lo que hacemos eh, es que unimos esta P. They help a, a lot. lot. They help a lot. They help a lot. Okay. Ah, there you go. Wonderful. <laughs> De hecho, está, se siente más fácil pronunciarlo. They, They help, help a lot. lot. Excellent. There you go. Got it. All right. Excellent. It's very good. Y nice. Nice, you too. Well done. Alrighty, so let's see, before we continue, it's time to take attendance for the second time. So let me see, let me just, ah, Jesus Christ. Wait, I stop. Okay, so I'm going to take attendance for the second time. So to just say present here, here we go. So we start with Ana Beatriz Pineda. Present. Thank you very much, Anita. Next, Angel Balmore Aguilar. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Angel. Next, Brenda Raquel Reyes. Present. Thank you very much, Raquel. Next person, Glenda Maricela Cuellar. Glenda, Glenda. Mm, por ahí estaba Glenda. Mm, quizás se le, se le desconectó, no sé, tuvo problemas quizás. Anyway, we continue with Iris Beatriz Cornejo. I hear. Thank you very much. It is next, Josué Vladimir Alvarenga. Bueno, Josué también anda por ahí trabajando, so, but I guess he's over there. So we continue with Carla Maria Beatriz Arana. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Carla Maria. Next person, I have Carla Yesenia Lanza. Present. Thank you, thank you very much, Carlita and daughter. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Lovely. Next person, Lucy Natalie Juarez. Here, teacher. Thank you very much, Natalie. <laughs> nice. Next, Marilyn Del Carmen Solis. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Marilyn. Next person, Mauricio Emilio Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Emilio. Next, Ove Alexander Alas. Your teacher. Thank you very much, Ove. Next, Orfa Lisset Barrera. Here. Thank you very much, Orfa. Y next person, Rosa Vilma Landa Verde. Present. Thank you very much, Vilma. Next, Sonia Evelyn Iraeta. Present teacher. Thank you very much, eh, Evelyn. So, next, Teresa Guadalupe Bonilla. Well, I guess she's not here. So, I continue with Jessica Melissa Oya. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Melly. 
And last but not least, Julissa Raquel Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Alrighty, so let's see, let's continue. I want to listen to a couple of more people here. So let me see, Ever, let's see, Marilyn and Beth Melly. Mary, I'm ready. Okay, action. Marilyn. Marilyn. Perdón, teacher, tenía problemas con el micrófono. Ah, okay, creí que le había dado ataque de pánico. Escénica. Sí. También. Um, okay, let's yo see. soy Ever. Ever, yes. Okay. Okay, action. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing this this day? I'm um, okay. Well, I am working on a new project and also I'm taking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these years. I know. I college who completed the course is taking a training in English these days. You are right. I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. Reading novels? Great. <laughs> well, I am doing listening exercises. They help a lot. All right. They help a lot. Nice. Well, that was very good. So, Excellent. Just remember reading, taking, or reading, taking. But that was really, really good. So congrats. Let's see. One more. Let me see. It is ever. And let's see. Beth. Uh -huh -huh. Carlita Lanza. Bye. Hola. All right, let's Okay, action. Hi, Bev. Long time to see. How are you? Hello, Weber. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working uh, on a new project in Halston. I am taking an English course this day. How, how are you? How about you? How are you? How about That's you? So, That's so great. What a coincidence. I'm also talking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. Good. I know. A college. A colleague. Uh, colleague who completed the oh. course he taken. Who? Cool. Who? who? Who completed? Uh, who completed uh, the course is taking a training in England this day. England. England this day. You are right. I'm studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. Results. Result. Great. Well, uh, I am doing listening exercise. They help. 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 <laughs> <laughs> listening exercises. They help a lot. Help a lot. Help a lot. <laughs> nice. There you go. That's the thing. All right. There you go. So now that we review something about this that we are getting more familiar with these about 
a, let's say, temporary situations. On the following page, so that is on page 38, you're going to find some brief explanation on what we just mentioned before, and you have a little exercise. So here we have, it says, role play. Role play a chit chat conversation about the temporary activities you and two other colleagues are doing these days. Here it says, a chit chat conversation. ¿Qué es una chit chat conversation? Eh, es como una conversación de trivial, ¿no? Cosas que, que hablamos a veces con la gente de, mire, ¿y, y qué tal? Bien, fíjate que estoy estudiando inglés ahí en, eh, con Insafor, ¿verdad? Son cositas que mencionamos y que no, no son así que relevantes o que sean muy trascendentales. Es como una small talk, como diríamos en inglés, una charla relajada, casual. So, this is what you're going to do. You're going to talk, primero van a pensar en algunas actividades que ustedes estén haciendo en estos días que no sean parte de su rutina diaria, que tal vez, eh, no sé, estoy planeando un evento en la empresa, he estado ocupado haciendo tal cosa, eh, con mi mamá estamos pensando que vender panes con gallina y ando comprando cosas, no lo sé, ¿no? O sea, cosas que ustedes eh, vayan a hacer o que estén pensando hacer o que ya estén haciendo, que sean temporales, ¿no? que no sean parte de su rutina diaria. Van a pensar en esas actividades, luego las van a integrar como en una pequeña conversación Así como les mencionaba, como la que acabamos de ver eh, en el ejemplo, eh, dos personas hablando de, hey, what are you doing these days? Pueden de hecho utilizar esa pregunta. La pregunta, bueno, de hecho creo que es la pregunta clave aquí, ¿no? What are you doing these days? Como que, ¿qué estás haciendo esto, estos días? What are you doing these days? So, y... Um, We're going to work in peers. Le voy a mandar por ahí este, la, la conversación y en, el, en el grupo de, de WhatsApp y para que por ahí tomen algunas ideas y ustedes hablen de sus propias acciones, right? So let me see. We're going to work in breakout rooms. So, ahí está. Creo que salimos justo, justo, justo. So I have a first group, Brenda and Marilyn. So you're working together. Next, I have here, Iris and let me see. Wait, 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 wait. Creo que esta persona está eh, trabajando. So no, let me see. No, voy a mover aquí. So, it is you're working with eh, Carlita Lanza. So, you're working together. It is and Carlita Lanza. So, you two. Then I have group number three, Orfa and Meli. You're working together. Group number five, I have a trio here. Let's see. See, sí, I have a trio, so it's Natalie, eh, Evelyn, and Julie. You are working together, okay? So the three of you. Then I have group number five, Emilio and Carla Maria. You're working together. Next, I have Anita and Oved. You are working together as well. And in the last group, I have Angel, and Vilma, you are working together. There you go. Alrighty then. So I'm going to open the breakout rooms. Recuerden, van a pensar en actividades que sean temporales o que estén haciendo por, es, por el momento ustedes y las van a integrar en una conversación y parecida a la que tenemos acá en el ejemplo. All right. So the rooms are open. 
So you can uh, start working uh, now with your partner. You have like more or less 10 minutes to complete the conversation. And then we come back to the main session. Vilma tiene problemas para conectarse. Bueno, ahí está. Nice.
All right, so I guess little by little, we are coming back. So the rest of you has only 20 seconds to come back. Okay, let's see. Ovid, do you have a question? No. Anita and me, I am first group, please. Oh, nice. All right. Very good. That's the spirit. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Great. Very good. All right. So let's see. I guess most of you are here already. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay. And here we go. So let's start then with this <clears throat> practice, with this conversation. So Obed wants to go first. And so let's start. So lights, camera, action. <laughs> what, are you, <pardon. laughs> what are you doing these days, Anita? I am reading a drama book. I am also organizing the Christmas party of my work. How about you, Obed? Uh, I am planning for carnival in this moment. And also I am decorating my Christmas tree for these days. And I am working in English class right now. Okay, you are very busy. Yes, I w it was great to see you, Anita. Thank you. Bye. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. That was really good. So congratulations. Excellent. Over there, Anita. Nice. Like it. All right. Let's see. Any other volunteers? No, no volunteers. <laughs> let's see, democráticamente entonces, let's see, uh -huh -huh. let's continue with hmm. Brenda, Raquel, and Marilyn. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see. Okay. Hey, Marilyn, what are you doing? Um, hi Brenda. Well, I am taking a English course and I'm, I am studying clinical laboratory. How about you? Nice, great. I am studying English too and I am learning. This is a difficult. It's great. Congratulations, Brenda. Good luck. Thank you. You have a great day. See you later. Wow, qué gran conversación. Fue Profunda. Meditable. No, that's okay, that's okay. Una, well, question. Eh, Marilyn, en la, la primera actividad que decía, can you repeat it? I am taking uh, English course. Course. No, pues creo que era la segunda que mencionó. I am studying uh, mm -hmm. clinical laboratory. Salí ahí. No sé ah, cómo se dice laboratorio clínico. Clinic laboratory, laboratory class. Uh -huh. A clinic laboratory class. So, ah, ok. There you go. So you can say I'm taking a clinic laboratory class. Right. Ah, so, ok. That's, there you go. Sí, eso fue lo, lo que no le, no le escapé la idea, pero nice, ahí está. Ah, ok. Good. Thank you. Excellent. Nice, very good. So let's see. Hmm. Volunteers. Um, Carla y Emilio. Ok, there you go. That's the spirit. All right. So let's see. Carla, María y Emilio. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
Hi, Carla. Um, long, long time. No see. How are you? Hello, Emilio. What are you doing these days? Um, I am okay. Um, I am planting my house in Sudit, right ready for the Christmas. Oh, that sounds great, Emilio. It is important to have everything prepared for Christmas. Yes, yes, I youth. What are you doing this day? What are you doing these days? I am in training about Smate and Endeva from Info. That's very interesting. And also, I am taking an English course from Insapor. Glad I am talking um, English too. Excellent, Emilio. That's all. Uh, okay. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Very good. I was waiting for the bye bye. <laughs> okay, nice. Bye, Emilio. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, nice. So, Emilio, at the beginning, I heard you say he he was decorating. Is that is that the correct action? He's painting the house. Oh, he's painting, painting the house. Oh, for Christmas. Oh, painting, painting the house. Oh, my Christmas. For Christmas, uh -huh. painting the house for Christmas. Uh -huh. Nice, very good. And is that true, Emilio? Es cierto? Is that true? Yeah. Oh, nice. There you yeah. Go. Excellent. Congratulations then. <laughs> good. All right, let's see. Volunteers. If. I have no volunteers, then I'll choose. Let oh, me see. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Angel. Oh, nice. Vilma. Nice. All righty. Vilma and Angel. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Action. <laughs> oh, Vilma. Perfecto. Hi, Angel. How are you? Hello, Vilma. I am fine. What are you doing this these days? I am getting ready for me daughters. Da daughter, daughter. Daughters. School. It's cool. And you, Angel? That's so uh, great. I, I am working on on an inventory because I am about the leverage the library the project. Okay, okay, Angel, thank you. Finish. <laughs> okay, there you go. Nice. No hicimos mucho. ¿Cómo? No hicimos mucho, pero. Pero es, es trabajo en esto. <laughs> sí, sí, sí. <laughs> nice. There you go. No, it was good. It was good. So, two things. Vilma, you said at the beginning that you were getting ready for your daughter's school. Yeah. Yes. Creo Así, así va la cosa. Estoy ¿no? preparando para la escuela de mis hijas. Ah, perfecto. Ah, pues sí, sí. Estamos bien, estamos bien. Nice. Con Angel, por ahí dijo algo sobre y, um, delivery. You are uh, working on an inventory. And also you're going to, you're getting ready because you're going to deliver a project. Is that what you say? Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh que lo que quería decir es como entregar un proyecto. Yes. Ajá, ajá. Sí. Cuando hablamos de entregar algo, por ejemplo, entregar la tarea, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir y, y que 
le voy a entregar la tarea mañana al teacher, ¿verdad? So, I'm eh, handing in my homework tomorrow. I'm handing in my homework tomorrow. Lo mismo sería con el proyecto. I'm handing in a project, eh, let's say, these days, ¿verdad? O I'm finishing a project eh, these days. Finishing a project these days. Uh -huh. Now we know, espérame. Project. Now, the thing here is, Um, si yo digo, por ejemplo, deliver es entregar, pero eh, es como de, de ir a dejar algo, o sea, como que yo eh, lleve algo, a, ah. eso es deliver, ¿verdad? I deliver a pizza, I can deliver eh, a package, etcétera, etcétera, pero eso es como entregar, de ir y digamos llevar algo a domicilio. Eso es como el deliver. Y entregar de, de dar algo terminado, eso es to hand in something. So there you go. But nice, that was good. That was really good. All Thank right. you, teacher. Excellent. Good job. Good job. So let's see. Uh, another volunteers. If not, si no hay, I'll go with Iris and Carlita Lanza. Hello. Hello. What's up, Iris? Hello, Carla. Uh, what are you doing this day? I am um, talk with my mom about Thanksgiving Day. Really? In this country, we don't celebrate it each day. I know, but my family in USA celebrate the tradition and we mirror on light this mm. day, this day. Nice, Carla. Uh, see you next time. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Teníamos dudas en el orden. Estuvo bien, estuvo bien, de hecho. Y lo único que no le entendí bien fue lo último que dijo Carlita de esta semana. ¿Qué es lo que mencionaba? No, uh, I know, but my family in USA celebrate Ajá. the tradition Ajá. and we meet in online. This day. Ah, and we're meeting online these days. Ah, oh, I got you. Got you. Ajá, nos reuniremos en, en línea, ¿no? Ah, nice. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, no, so that was okay then. Y Thanksgiving, right? Thanksgiving. De hecho, sí, este jueves, right? Es este jueves, correcto. Yes, nice. Thanksgiving Day. Mucha gente dice Thanksgiving, ¿verdad? Pero no, no es Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thanksgiving. <laughs> nice. All right, very good. Thank you very much for that. Excellent. Let's see. Next pair of people I have here. Let me see. Um, Orfa and Meli. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Hi, Meli. Hi, Melissa. How are you? Hi, Orfa. I'm fine. Right now, I'm looking for some decoration for the Christmas tree. That sounds great. Yes. What sounds a great. Confident. We are decorating the Christmas tree right now. Awesome. Do you have help? Yes, my sister is helping mm, me. We, with decoration because I don't have many cre creativity. That's true. I don't have help. It's, it's not easy. 
Good luck with your decoration. Thank you, Orfa. See you soon. Bye, Meli. All right, there you go. That was really good. Excellent. There was only one thing there. Cuando preguntamos, do you have uh, any help? I guess that's what you said. Y um, tal vez lo cambiaríamos y diríamos, is someone, is someone helping you? Is someone helping you? Y con eso teníamos dudas. Les más la cambiamos de manera. <laughs> Oh, I Pero see. igual estábamos, estábamos mal con los otros igual. <laughs> ok, don't worry. Acá si quisiéramos no, sonar no, también no. un poquito más, más como mmm, amistosos, digamos, más, más casuales, podríamos decir, is someone giving you a hand with that? Is someone giving you a hand with that? Es lo mismo, ¿no? Es, eh, te está ayudando a alguien con eso y literalmente lo pudiéramos traducir como hey, alguien te está echando la mano con eso te está dando una mano con eso podría ser no so, también en inglés existe la expresión so very good nice thank you Orfa and Millie bonito el arbolito de, de Orfa de hecho <ríe> nice Así le dije yo Así le dije de verdad que le dije Sí, me recuerda a la Pepsi Blue. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, very good, you two. So let's see. Let's continue with, let me see, Natalie, Evelyn, and Julie. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello, hello. Okay, empezamos entonces. Okay, action. Hello, how are you today? Nice to see you. Nice to see you too, Julie. What are you doing these days? I am planning my sister trip. She is usually travel once a year to visit her niece, but this day is traveling every two months. What about you, Evelyn? I'm learning to dance tango on Saturdays because it's relaxed and you, Natalie? These days, I'm, these days I'm planning my Christmas home decoration because my daughter loves too much this season. Okay, thanks. Nice to see you a chat with you, girls. Hi. Thanks, Julie. Thanks, Evelyn. Thanks. Take care, girls. Bye. Bye. All right. Bye. Oh my God! Tango classes. Is that is that true? <laughs> yes. Is that true, Evelyn? Is that is mute? The microphone. Is that? Is false. Oh. oh. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> Yo me lo imaginaba bailando tango. <laughs> nice, okay, but that was good. That was a nice conversation, actually. Really interesting. All right, thank you. Thank you very much to all of you. You did really good. No se me quedó nadie, ¿verdad? No? No, creo que todos pasamos. Nice. All right, congratulations to you all. A nice practice, nice exercise. And as you can see, a, this is just another way to use the present continuous. I know that a, the present continuous has a lot of a, uses, right? Even though it's a very simple structure, a, still it's, it's got a lot of uses. El presente continuo tiene muchos usos pero la estructura es bien sencilla, o sea, la estructura prácticamente no va a cambiar en ningún momento. Y a pesar de que los usos sí sean diferentes, siempre va a ser lo mismo, ¿no? El verb to be, verb in ing. ¿Qué es lo que cambia? En algún momento tal vez podría cambiar eh, la expresión de tiempo, eso sí. 
por ejemplo, cuando lo ocupamos en futuro o cuando lo utilizamos, eh, como en estos casos, para hablar de situaciones eh, temporales. Ok, then. So, let's take attendance for the last time. Tomamos asistencia por última vez. Let me see. So, here we go. By the way, hoy le tocaría quedarse a... Uy, ya me acabé la lista. ¿Quién no se ha quedado y se puede quedar hoy? Alguien que no haya pasado. Si no, no hay problema. Mañana. <ríe> All right, nadie fue de hoy. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. So tomorrow, maybe someone can, uh, can stay, all right? Good, so let's see. Eh, comienzo entonces with Ana Beatriz Pineda. Present. Thank you very much. Anita, next, Ángel Balmore Aguilar. Present. Thank you very much. Angel, next, Brenda Raquel Reyes. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Y Raquel, next person, Glenda Maricela Cuellar. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Y next, Iris Beatriz Cornejo. Present, teacher. Thank you, nice. Y next, Josué Vladimir Alvarenga. I guess he's still working there. So I continue with Carla Maria Beatriz Arana. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Carla Maria. Next, Carla Yesenia Lanza. Present. Thank you very much, Carlita. Y next person, Lucy Natalie Juarez. Here, teacher. Thank you very much, Natalie. Y next person I have is Marilyn del Carmen Solís. Marilyn, Marilyn, are you there? Marilyn. La perdimos, Marilyn. Okay. So next person then, Mauricio Emilio Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Emilio. Next person, Oved Alexander Alas. Present teacher. Thanks a lot, Oved. Y next person, Orfa Lisette Barrera. Present teacher. Thank you, Orfa. Nice. Y next, Rosa Vilma Landa Verde. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Vilma. Y next, Sonia Evelyn Iraeta. Present teacher. Thanks a lot, Evelyn. Y next person, Jessica Melissa Oya. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Melly. And last but not least, Julissa Raquel Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Julie. Okay, boys and girls, well, we're going to stop right here. Y just let me remind you, Solo recordarles ya, bueno, prácticamente estamos mañana, cerramos ya la unidad 3 y comenzaremos ya la última unidad, ya la última semana prácticamente. Así que, bueno, ánimo, ¿no? Ya nos quedan pocos días y igual traten de no faltar. Recuerden, esto es lo último del año. Con esto ya cerramos eh, el año con Insafor y con ustedes. Así que ya vendrán días en los que descansaremos y dormiremos temprano <risa> nice así que bueno adelante chicos y chicas y pues nada nos vemos mañana I'll see you tomorrow have a good night and as always a pleasure take care good night bye bye, bye. 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 see you bye bye see you bye see you bye